Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another video of sorts, and this time it's me playing Transport Fever because, you know, I'm bored and things like that. Um, whether the thing is kid friendly or not, I don't really give two shits because, you know, I don't, I've gone past caring to be honest. Anyway, this is me at Transport Fever, and I'm currently on a map which I've been playing for a couple of months now, on and off really. Uh, it's sort of the south coast of England sort of map, if you like, so it's Southampton Central here. Now, it's a scaled down world, as you can tell, because. Well, people know Southampton is not an end of the line track, but the way the map is designed it is. So we're in a, sort of a small portion of the south coast anyway, so here's Southampton Central. The line goes round and up to Eastleigh and then it also spurs off and goes towards Portsmouth. Portsmouth is the end of the line at the other end, so it's quite a, a large map nonetheless. And like I said, I've been playing it for a few months now and uh, they're not doing too bad. I've not got any uh, expenditures going on here. This is sort of a what would you say? It's uh, income only, if you like, because I've got uh, no cost mods on, just for the purpose of this video, really. But uh, there's a train coming. That's that's a Portsmouth train, so he's just arriving at Southampton with seven passengers on board. He earns his money. Anyway, let's go for a quick walk around, or a fly around. So we've got a track that goes off to Ocean Village down here, which is the Ocean Terminal, basically. Uh, like I said, the map's not scaled perfectly, as you can tell. So Southampton is there. I don't know if you can see the cursor on it, but Southampton is down there. Or there, uh, and then Ocean Village is down here. So, Southampton Docks would be in this area here, if it, we know where the uh, this area here. But never mind. Now, although the video is sort of aimed towards trains, there are a few. Well, there is a ship about, but I don't know where it is. It's quite a long way away. It's got all of Southampton Water to uh, maneuver. There it is. There's our ship. It is the Mary or the Mauritania, and there she is. Doesn't she look fantastic? And not very stable as you can tell so she's wibbling around a bit but uh, she's looking pretty good in this very shallow water <laughs> but uh, no big deal there so that's our Mauritania completely profitless I mean she's not earned any any pennies at all in her career but she looks good nonetheless and she only goes as far as the Isle of Wight because we haven't got America on this map but the journey that she does do is long enough and she takes all day doing it anyway so where actually does she go? She goes to uh, East Cowles, uh, that's her journey from Cowles to Ocean Village, that's as far as she goes. So that's that one there, so we've got uh, that one ship, there's plenty of buses about as well, and buses are noisy on this game, so I'm not going to try and focus too much on those. Uh, Portswood here, and uh, St Denny's, so the, the, the station there is called Portswood, although it's supposed to be St Denny's. This is where the track splits, so you've got the Eastley line going up there. And also the Portsmouth line going round to the side. I don't know if you can see my cursor or not. I'm just going to do a jump cut, see if I can turn it on. So bear with me. Well, it turns out I can't turn the mouse cursor on. I've got the mouse cursor. I can see the mouse cursor, but you can't, which is really annoying. The recording program I use will not record the mouse. Time for a change of uh, program, I suppose. Anyway, I uh, don't really know what to do. I was going to go build something, but I've completely gone blank with what I was going to do. Um, anyway... That's uh, St. Denny's down there, or Portsmouth, whichever you want to call it. A train coming up from Portsmouth just down here, which is that one there. Love the sound effects of that one. That looks pretty good. Right, so if we go to the other end, which is all the way miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles down here somewhere. So that's, that's Gosport there. And here's the end of the line here. This is the this is the main line anyway. The end of the main line. It's South Sea, and the game stuttered and stopped. So you have to bear with me on this one. Right, there we go. Let's zoom in a bit. There we go. All right, so there we are. <coughs> There's a a return train just pulling out. Is that a return train? Uh, no, that's the Portsmouth tram line train. So that's uh, going to spur off and go around to the old Portsmouth area. So. Uh, that's probably the most profitable line on this map, the uh, old Portsmouth Tramway. It's only a small circular line, but uh, I think the shorter lines tend to do the most profit. That's no big deal. So I'll just move up to the next station. This is probably the busiest station on the map, the old Fratton station. So we'll just zoom in a bit here. It's, the station has evolved a little bit, so it's. Uh, there we go. So there's the Fratton station. This is, like I say, it's probably the most uh, congested area on the map. I had to increase it from two to four tracks because uh, the amount of trains that are coming through it. So you've got a train just leaving now. He's off to Southampton. You've got a train just coming here. That's the f uh, 
Um, what is it? Portsmouth tram line. And the next train pulling out, I don't know where that is. But it's usually pretty congested. There's usually trains coming in every few seconds, but it seems to have uh, eased up a little bit here. So he's just off to, to old Portsmouth now. Or South Sea, rather. And I uh, don't really know what else to do. So you can see a train just coming in up there. That's another. That's, that's the Eastley line, so let's just pop them in. Love the sound effects of this game. Well, I think what I was doing, the purpose of this video, I think what I was planning to do is, you know, if I could do, in a new year, do a sort of let's play sort of thing. Start from start a game from the beginning, either with this version of the game or with Transport Fever 2, and uh, sort of do a, a, a playthrough, start a map from scratch, and try and earn a profit properly, if you know what I mean. Uh, sort of like Transport Taiku, basically. Uh, start from scratch and see if we can make a booming business or a commercial failure depending how we uh, run it so that's something I was sort of planning we could do so uh, yeah, that's the purpose of this video really I have nothing really else to show I mean uh, it's the map part I'm doing here is basically just sort of my recon re uh, construction of what we have in the UK at the moment or at least in the south coast Eastleigh here is the other end of the line from north to south Eastleigh, of course, in reality, is not a uh, stop line. It's actually the main line to Waterloo in London. So, but of course, it's the end of the map. So that's that's that. But uh, yeah, like I say, just sort of a, a purpose. If I chat, if I survive finless into the new year, <laughs> then uh, I think we'll try, or I'll try anyway, to do a, a video series on transport fever. Whether people will be interested or not, I don't really give two shits because most of the stuff I do, no one's interested in anyway. So it's it's a shot in the dark, and uh, we'll see how things go. But uh, I'm looking at the you know Transport Fever. It's sort of a a visual game rather than a playable game. You can play it, but also good to look at. I mean, I could sort of sit here and just watch trains come and go. It appeals to me. It should appeal to everyone, really. Where is the, where is that train that's making the noise? Oh, there he is. He's just pulled out. You got another train pulling in from Fairham, or pulling pulling into Fairham. That's just from Gosport there. sound effects of this mod has changed recently so kudos to the uh, original builder he's just off to south, uh, off to Portsmouth now uh, this one goes I think this one goes to Bishop's Waltham is it there's a Gosport branch and oh no and it goes to f as far as Fairham so we'll turn around and go back the other way here's an Eastleigh train he's just coming from Eastleigh So that train there has just stopped, that's going to turn round and it's going to go to back to Gosport, in theory. Taking his time though. Oh, there we go, he's turning off. Frame rate's a bit shit at the moment, it's because of this game. It is a bit of a laggy game, but uh, I can't really help that one. I just love the sound effects of it. So that's those trains sort of there. Got, is that a branch there? Oh no, it's a depot. So where are we? We've got. goes up to Null there, and then the track splits again. That's the Eastleigh line running up there, and also it's the Bishop's Waltham line as well. So they've got a, got a spur up here at Botley. There, there's Botley, and then the line spurs off and it runs off as far as Bishop's Waltham. Although it does curve back the wrong way compared to real life, but uh, I show you, I assure you, it does go to Bishop's Waltham somewhere in the distance. In reality, uh, at least now, anyway, that the, the Bishop's Waltham line no longer exists. But uh, the, the branch, the spur, does go up a little way. It sort of goes up a few hundred yards and then stops in the uh, woodlands. But uh, Botley still exists. The Bishop's Waltham line does not. So it's uh, it's one of those things, part of the beaching cuts. But you know, progress, I suppose, is progress. I'm not going to I'm not going to say either way. What I think. And what's that train coming in now? That's another Eastleigh train pulling in. So I just ride with him as he comes in. I 
I say, I love the sound effects of this game. He's going to pull in there. There's in the returning train. Is that Bishop's Waltham again? No, that's Portsmouth, sorry. Needs to lead to Portsmouth. The water towers make a lot of noise as well. So he's, he's the train heading to Portsmouth. This one's just come from Portsmouth, so they're meeting in the middle. <coughs> I think it's a healthy enough profit. Sort of waiting. There's any other trains coming? I mean, there's supposed to be trains heading into uh, Bishop's Waltham here, or heading from Bishop's Waltham, but there's, there's none in the area, which is a shame. Let's just have a quick zoom out, see what's in the area. Well, there's, there is a train coming in from Bishop's Waltham. There it is. Just pulling in now. Like I say, this is sort. It's one of those train uh, games. just like a train set, really. You just sort of lay the track down, get the train running, and just sort of sit and watch them. So he's just coming in now from Bridget's Waltham. And I think, is he going to Gosport? Yeah, he goes from Gosport to Bishop's Waltham, so he's got a different route compared to the other two. That's train 46. Not a big earner, but he does his job. And he's off to wherever it is he's got to go. I don't think there's anything else in this area. Like I say, uh, uh, Fratton is the uh, the busiest line. We can just go back to Eastley a second. Eastley is another place where I can watch the trains. Cause you got trains from two areas here. So you've got trains from Southampton down to the right, and the Eastley train is coming from the left. So you, know, you sort of sit and watch trains all day. Oh, it's just me though, you know. Here comes the Eastley train now, and the Southampton train just in the distance. To the right, so two trains about to uh, meet, if you like. So there's those two trains in. Now turn around off screen and then go back the way they came. What I could have done, I could have had the Southampton train go straight into the station rather than spur to the right, but never mind. the uh, Easter line sort of thing. I think I modelled it fairly accurately. At least the, the track layout anyway, although it, it is a dead end area. And that's those two trains there. He's going back to Portsmouth. He's going back to Southampton. So that's that little job there. And the other line is the St. Denny's area, which we've already seen, is where the two, the two lines, the Portsmouth and the Southampton lines meet. You can see here got the uh, Kirby station and then the two tracks meet together there. Bit of a bottleneck, but can't really help that. So that's that one there, that's a German engine I think, or a Eastern European engine, not really sure. Very attractive engine nonetheless. So what else can we look at? I don't really much else to look at. I mean, I haven't done no freight on this game yet because I, I think I've clogged up the uh, the tracks with passenger trains, and I think freight would just fuck everything up. There's Murray again. She's just leaving port, so she's off to back to the Isle of Wight. 
very nicely modelled ship this is. Well, I've got most of my details from a Minecraft ship from this model actually. So, so you've got all the details on there. And uh, very nice it is too. There's also Lusitania as well in this map, but uh, in this game, but I've not uh, built that one or bought it. So there's Mauritania just leaving there. Very attractive ship she is too. So that's that's Mauritania again. She's pissed it off. And we'll just pop back to Ocean Village again. Got the pensive man here. Who's he? Joshua Kelly. Where is he going? He's going home. There's a little ocean village, Billy, if you like. And he's just pulling in. This is basically the connection from Southampton to Ocean Village. And he gets a little bit of money, but then the money, well, the passengers don't transfer to uh, the harbour over there, so. Like I say, the ship is there for pure visuals. There's no use other than that, so there's Murray again. Do 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 don't really know what to do now. Uh, I was gonna pl like I said, I was planning to do something, but my, my mind kinda went blank. You know how these things are. There's Botley up there. There's Bur Burridge there. Whiteley. Never been to Whiteley, I don't think. Never been to Knoll either. Uh his fair. I've been to Fairham a few times. Not too bad. And the line behind, the Gosport line, which is that one there, doesn't exist anymore either. The track used to go straight south, which is where I'm facing now, it used to go all the way down to Gosport. Of course, during the uh, the cuts, that track was lifted as well, so there's no more trains going to Gosport. Uh, Fairham as far as it goes. The, the, the track came to continues to Portsmouth that way, but the, that line there, or this line where this train is approaching from, no longer exists, so never mind. That's that one. Let's go to Gosport. So there are a few more routes down here. So we've got the track that goes all the way down to uh, Gosport. There's also another spur. As you can see there's a branch line there which goes all the way to Hard where is it? Hardway. Never been there either. But here's Gosport. This is basically just across the water from Portsmouth. So this is a fairly busy line as well. So you've got trains pulling in here. This is the uh, the Elson Spur line which is a small not overly profitable but does its job and he's heading off to Hardway <coughs> I think you just pull three coaches. Yeah, that's only a three coach train. Don't really need the full whack, so three is enough to cover that uh, service. I think there's only two trains on that line as well, so it's not overly busy. But it does the job. Where's the other train? There's Brockhurst, which is here. This is a bit of a bottleneck. But it looks good. It's a curved station with a road either side. It's quite a big city, a uh, big town as well. Now it's it's, big, it's bigger than I expected. I mean, there's no, like I said, there's no freight in this game, so these towns don't grow, or well, they shouldn't grow anyway. But uh, they're growing nonetheless. So that's that one. Uh, plenty of trains running nonetheless. Uh, Porchester, Cosham, in the train enters the Portsmouth area. Hillsea there, then Portsmouth. Fratton and then finally South Sea there. You've got Old Portsmouth just here. Gunwolf Keys, Portsea, uh, Buckland. All in the Portsmouth area. These are all basically all merged into one town now. Uh Eastie down there. But Portsmouth South Sea, sorry, is the end of the line. The old Portsmouth tram line goes from Portsmouth or South Sea down here and goes through Buckland, Fratton, Portsea, Gunwolf Keys, and then stops at Old Portsmouth, literally just across the line, across the river. From Gosport, so you get the Gosport line to the left, Old Portsmouth to the right. So, could put a ferry there, really. I, I could put uh, a boat going from right to left. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll do that. I'll put a 
a little fairy in. Although, to be fair, <laughs> the water's probably not deep enough for that. Oh, there it is, it is. Okay, we'll put one just there. Then I'll put another one just there. Put it just there, I think, and then connect it with the road. Put our road there. I'll try and make it a bit more detail. There we go. There's our road. Right, so here we are. Ferry to ferry. Ferry to port to ferry port. There we go. So, right, so let's put a line in. Uh, I'm going to go from there to there. There we go. That's that sorted. And then we need a boat. Actually, we need a, a ferry terminal first. Uh, how do we build these? We need to put that there. There we go. Right, now we need a boat. What should we use? We've got uh, the Campania, we've got the Lusitania, the Mauritania, plus all these other random piles of shit. I think we'll, we use a Campania, we use one of those. They're always good. Probably too big for the job, but who gives a toss, right? Put that there. There we go. <laughs> Campania is miles too big for the little estuary that she's uh, operating in. But she looks good. Anyway. Woof woof. Oh god. <laughs> the ships do look a bit robotic in this game, the way they move. But it will do the job. I'm going to say that's the, ca <laughs> the Campania there. And she's going to work from right to left. Probably take her about 10 years to move from left to right, but. Hey? Didn't expect that. Uh. But yeah, that is uh, those two ports done there. I don't know if they make a profit or not because it's. I could put it, probably put a road bridge in it to do a, body, a better job. Um, <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, that's that little job there. I don't really know what to do. What else to do for this uh, video? I'll just say it's probably be one of the last of 2020 or 2019, wherever you were in now. This I know for sure I'm not going to be shut down just for the sake of not being profitable. That's not something YouTube are doing. Uh, YouTube have all but confirmed or have confirmed that we will not be shut down just for the sake of not being profitable. That is something they did not write down properly. They've gone onto Twitter and said uh, basically it's all to do with outdated, uh, outdated tech that we've used. Basically annotations and things like that. You know, If your channel has not been used in a certain time then it will probably be shut down. Because you know, it's a waste of thing. You're not going to be shut down just because you're not profitable. You know, if your channel's still in use, you can still use it. You're not going to, you're not going to be kicked out. That's something they've sorted out. So, um, if you want clarification on that, if you go to, uh, I think it's the VidIQ. They've done a few videos on this sort of thing. I think it's their latest video, which uh, sort of sums it up and uh, sort of puts our minds at rest. We've still got the issues with the copper and FTC. There's something else to worry about. Fuck them fuck them to the moon so uh yeah that's uh, that's a different bit of uh, barrel of fish but uh, the the situation with the youtube sh sh shutting down channels is not the case that is uh something they needed to clarify and they have clarified it so that's that so i'm going to leave it at that i'm going to disappear now and i think my next video will probably be a minecraft one but we shall see and so this is the transport fever like i say if you want a video or, or a uh, playthrough of this sort of thing then i'll try and do it and uh, we'll see in the new year. But uh, this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I'll try and return with another video soon. So uh, bye for now.